Hello, my lovely Aquarius. Sun rising, moon and Venus. Welcome to your mid-July 2021 tarot reading. This will be a general read. It can relate to general life or love life. General life involves um, career, finances, family, friends, business, projects, collaborations, whatever. So, this may or may not be your story. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Check your other planetary placements as well as those videos become available. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And if you find that this is your story and you would like a private reading to dig deeper to see where it's going to go, hit me up. All my contact information is in the description box below. So hit me up for a private reading. Okay, so let's dig in. Let's get your overall message from Spirit. I'm feeling this card here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Air signs have been had beautiful readings so far. You've got eternal love, happiness, harmony, fulfillment. Wow, Aquarius. There's the rainbow after the storm. So if you've gone through some sort of storm, some kind of upheaval, you know, all that is settling. The rainbow of promise is that that storm is over. That you got the sun out. Everything's bright, happy, contentment. It looks like you're finally moving in to happiness. You're finally finding it, Aquarius. So, let's dig in. Okay, just another moment here. Yeah, Spirit has uh, spoken and said that you've had a really rough time of it, Aquarius, whoever this is for. But the storm has passed. Okay, now I believe the cards are ready. So let's dig in. We have the King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is somebody who is very passionate, very loving, generous. Often reminds me of a father figure. You know, the fatherly love, always wanting to give advice. But this is somebody who's learned to, manner, uh, learned to control their emotions, manage them. I'm hearing self-control. This is somebody who rules with a very soft touch. Who's gained a lot of wisdom. And it's usually spiritual wisdom or emotional wisdom. Who's been through it. Very mature. This is a mature energy. This could be your energy or the person that you are dealing with. Male or a female. The sun, beautiful Leo energy. It's matching that eternal love card. This is that happiness, that blissfulness. This is, could also be representing healing. It's like if there was something that you've gone through emotionally, this is a time of healing. But it's like feeling... A, some Somebody may make you feel alive again. This is nurturing something. This is growth. For some of you, this could be some kind of spiritual growth here as well. But something is about to make you extremely happy. 
Aquarius. Ooh, devil card. Capricorn energy. Okay. There is so much positive energy here, but there's also a negative Nelly. There's somebody negative in the scenario as well. Somebody who would love to see you fail. Somebody who wants to bring you down. This is kind of like I feel a heads up message that you are on the right path. Okay, you're going in the right direction. Don't let somebody else tempt you or steer you wrong. Don't let anybody else distract you. Because whoever this other person is that wants to distract you, they definitely do not have your best interest in mind. Okay? They're not looking out for you. They're looking out for numero uno one for themselves. There's a very selfish energy here. It, and jealousy I'm hearing. Somebody could be jealous of your success, jealous of your happiness. How could they find somebody and I can't? Or how can they leave me for somebody else? Well, you know, asshole, if you would have treated me right, I wouldn't have been looking. I wouldn't have been looking, been finding somebody else, right? That's kind of the attitude there. But it's like, don't let them try to put your son out. And then we have the Five of Cups. So, this is definitely that jealous attitude. This is definitely somebody being negative, looking at the glass half empty instead of half full. Somebody wants drama. Somebody wants to cause some kind of upheaval. They don't want to see you happy. I'm hearing misery loves company. And my guides are saying, do not give in to this energy. They are going to try to derail you, throw you off course. And if you allow them to, you may sit in the energy of regret and remorse. Why did I allow that person to interfere? Why did I allow that person to get to me? You got to stand strong. They could try to pull on your emotions. King of Cups here could be saying, maintain your emotional composure. Keep grounded. Keep in, um, you know, don't allow them to get you worked up because you are moving in the right direction. You are moving towards true love, true happiness and contentment. You know, and when you move towards spirit also, when there's a spirit connection, the devil doesn't like that. The devil wants to do whatever he can to tempt you, to pull you in a bad direction, a wrong direction. So you kind of have to be mindful of that. King of Swords. So we do have two kings here. This is your energy, I feel. Or it could be another air sign. Gemini, Libra, or another Aquarius. But this is being very mindful. I think, I feel this is the energy of you. Being very mindful of this person. Being very alert. Being conscious of it. And taking what they have with a grain of salt. This is you being pure at heart. As long as you are pure at heart and you stay very focused on your own happiness in the direction you are currently going, this devil's not going to affect you. You have to kind of put them on the back burner. I feel that the devil energy or is this three of cups here. The loss. Maybe they are trying to make you feel bad for going in another direction, leaving them in the dust. And I'm feeling like a very narcissistic energy from this person. 
that it was an unhealthy connection that you knew you had to get away from. And as soon as you do, they kind of leave you alone. But once you start feeling happy and being in a different mindset, finding love, then they want to come in and throw a monkey wrench in it. I don't see you having it, Aquarius. You're going to be very focused and very decisive. You know where your happiness lies. You know what you need to do. And you are being very decisive. It's like your decision's final. They may be using trickery to try to get to you. Just saying they may be very strategic. You know, this king of swords could be representing both you and the devil as well. In that, that they are using, being very um, deceptive in their strategies to get, get your attention. But the other side of the King of Swords is, it's like they're sitting in the King of Swords reverse. You're sitting in the King of Swords upright. So you need to be very mindful of what their intentions are that there is hidden motives eight of cups you know being decisive and walking away from this devil energy absolutely not partaking in their drama in their sob story and moving ahead towards your happiness and contentment wow Wow. Under the deck, we have the high priestess. Because your intuition, intuitively, you know that you can't trust them. They have kept secrets from you in the past. And I say this a lot. It's one of my favorite sayings. A leopard doesn't change its spots. We could even switch it up and say a zebra doesn't change its stripes. Okay, but intuitively, you know, and you are being guided in another direction. You're trusting your instincts and intuition. Sorry, I keep getting this call that keeps interrupting me. Anyhow, um... This is you trusting your intuition and you going with it. And you moving on towards your happiness, contentment, fulfillment. But that's the energies I have for you, my dear Aquarius. Again, if this is something like your story and you want to know further what's going on here, again, reach out to me for a private reading. And don't forget that thumbs up. I love you all and blessed be.